Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and today's video is going to be me trying viral TikTok beauty products, specifically makeup from the drugstore. I have not actually done a makeup haul in a while because I did a whole no buy and I just got better with my mindset in terms of purchasing new products. I do shop for beauty products. I'm only buying one or two items. Scrolling down TikTok, TikTok made me do it. I bought more than what I'm going to be able to test in this video. So I'm going to show you everything I bought. Then I'm going to put it on this bare face and I'll probably have to do a part two be <coughs> because I choked because I have like multiples of base products or blushes and I'm not going to like try it all on one face because I want you to see how it wears. We'll do a final end of the day check-in, possibly a midday check-in, show you guys what it looks like in natural light, whatever light I have available. I like you guys to be able to see what skin really looks like and how the product actually looks on skin. No fancy lighting, no um, filters or anything like that. Just real skin. Ow, there's like something in my eye. Oh my gosh new mom life <laughs> okay i'm losing my mind a little place an order on ulta.com for most of the drugstore items and then i went to cvs and picked up one item that was just sold out everywhere to be fair most of these tiktok viral things have been sold out everywhere and i also have the maybelline sky high mascara which i did a first impressions over on instagram reels and then i did go to sephora because I had like an hour to myself. There's a Sephora by the Trader Joe's. I picked up a couple minis there. I'm just gonna show you everything I bought because I haven't done a beauty haul, like I said, in a very long time. This is highly raved over on TikTok. It's the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Have no idea if this is going to look okay on my skin, but this is the shade light 210 neutral this wasn't viral on tiktok but you guys if you've been watching my channel you know i'm obsessed with diy lash extensions at home or extended wear lashes at home so kiss has lash couture and these are 3d diy faux lash extensions kits supposed to last like up to two weeks and this glue looks kind of scary and the lashes actually look like extension lashes but obviously extensions are typically single lashes these are smaller than like the falscara lashify or lilac street i have videos on all of those products i think i'm going to do a dedicated review on this because if i could get two weeks wear that's impressive i think you apply these on top i don't know we'll see this one i saw on tiktok through my friend um, makeup sessions Betty and she was like why is everyone talking about this this is awesome and I feel like I've seen a couple more people talk about it since she posted this is the elf flawless brightening concealer this is the NYX the brow glue is it NYX or is it NYX I've always said NYX but I'm recently hearing people on TikTok say NYX this is something that I really wanted to try again because this was like before TikTok when it was just YouTube I think almost before Instagram everybody was talking about this and I loved it I went through tubes and tubes and tubes of this this is the Maybelline age rewind instant erase effector I can't speak this thing I used to rave about this and recommend it to everybody but I haven't used it in years so I repurchased there's these elf bite size eyeshadow cream and sugar look how cute these are absolutely adorable uh, um, next, I feel like I'm very overexposed right now. Elf Putty Blush in Bali, which did not look that red it, online, but, you know, we'll work with it. Oh my gosh, guys, this was the product that was sold out literally everywhere. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear. I feel like this is going to be a separate video just because I want to do a really in-depth, like, check-in throughout the day, close-up, can you see my pores kind of a thing. It's supposed to blur and just, like, give you this flawless thing. This was the only one left that was relatively close to my shade. So I picked up the shade Vanilla 120, probably way too light for me, but maybe not with my overexposed exposure the nyx bear with me tinted skin veil i heard great things about this as well so this will be probably on a separate day because i really want to try this elf camo cc i have focus over here i also have that nyx the marshmallow primer 
And then I have the Sweet Cheeks from NYX, Shine Loud, Ambitious Statement from NYX. It's supposed to be a long wear lip color, like mask proof. I know everyone's talking about the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, and I already tested that one, and to be honest, I wasn't crazy about it, but it's gotten better over time. For me, I have really short, stick straight, heavy, thick lashes and not a lot of them. So mascara is really challenging for me and I review mascaras based on my lashes and my lash needs. I heard about this through Rach Loves and this is the Air Volume Mega Mascara from L'Oreal. I'm hoping this one's a fluffier, lighter formula, but if you wanna see my reaction to the Maybelline Sky High, I have that on Instagram Reels. I have a bunch of things, not a bunch, I have a couple, oh, this one, I'm gonna try this one today. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Apparently this is like better than shape tape and everybody's talking about this this is in the shade light sand it's just so hard to purchase things online but it's easier for me to get things online especially being a new mom and with like covid and all this weird stuff of 2021 still i have the black girl sunscreen in spf 30 this has really great reviews. I've heard some buzz about it. It's not necessarily a TikTok product, but I needed an SPF that wasn't tinted, didn't have shimmer in it. And surprisingly enough, I don't have that in my uh, like skincare things I need to try. So I purchased this from Ulta. Very small, literally small, because I purchased mainly minis from Sephora. This is the Jizu honey infused hair oil. I really wanted to try this out. I've been wanting to try it out since she launched, but I just, I'm not a huge hair product person, so I couldn't really justify it at the time. And then this is the mini Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in medium. So I think the shade medium is new, and then this mini is new. I just think it's better to buy minis when it's available, especially in luxury, because then if you really like it, you can always, if you really use up the mini, then you know you can spend the money on the full size. That's what it looks like. Then I got a refill, but a mini version because I love this powder from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and I wear the shade medium. I hit pan, really hit pan on the full size, but it took me a long time because I do have a lot of products and I try to keep it pretty minimal and I rotate things out and I declutter and pass products off to people and donate a lot, but I'm also always testing new products. So I don't like keeping things around for too long either, but it's one of my favorite powders, so I didn't repurchase it because I have so many other powders I need to get through. I saw the mini, and so I was like, I'm gonna get the mini because I feel like it'll be nice to have when I really wanna look flawless. I'll get through it quicker. The only non-mini item I purchased from Sephora is the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush in Nearly Mauve. A lot of people have been raving about these blushes, and so I really wanted to try it. Got the liquid blush when the brand first launched, but it's so pigmented, it's almost scary, and then this one I thought I would have a little more control with, so can't wait to try that. Let's um, zoom you in and get to testing. So the first thing is this primer from NYX or NYX. It's the Marshmallow Primer. So what I think I'm going to do with this, because this is also new to me, I'm going to just put the primer on half my face. We can see how it works with a product. I will most likely have to test this with the foundation that's tried and true as well. Not a very big primer user. Sometimes you want the primer. Oh, it, it's a light vanilla scent. I like that it's a pump and it's very moussey and marshmallowy. It's like creamy marshmallow whip and it smells like marshmallows. So let's remember this. I'm putting it on the right side of my face. Oh, I like the scent. It's like nice and sweet, but not sickly sweet and not overbearing because I hate when things are so fragranced that it's like incredibly overbearing. It goes on pretty nicely, pretty easily. This area is always my trouble area with products, but since I've been using my Dermaflash, it's been a little bit easier, nicer, so. Very light, 
very fresh skin feels nice and smooth and hydrated but not sticky not overly dimethicone or silicone -y. so I actually really like this primer I think this primer is doing a nice job it also seemed to minimize a little bit of my pores probably just because it's smoothing and hydrating everything out not a huge difference from this side to this side but when you feel my skin I feel a difference it's not overly like silicone -y. you know sometimes you put on like a very silicone primer and you're just like okay well now my face is not gonna hold anything let's go in with the elf camo CC cream skin loving ingredients with collagen peptide and niacinamide everyone's talking about niacinamide Susan Yara predicted it you know when it comes to collagen and peptides it really depends on the quality and the level of peptides and collagen in it for it to make a difference I don't really know what the level is in there and then it's got broad spectrum SPF 30 which is a combination of chemical and physical SPF which is really nice this is supposed to be a dupe for the it cosmetics CC cream it has very similar packaging with the pump I do like it squeezy so you can like really squeeze out everything let's pray that this is the right shade <laughs> texture wise it's very similar as well but I feel like it's lighter than the it cosmetics CC cream on first impression and then let me just dab a little on the right side the side with the primer bounce that in probably picked a shade that's a little too pink I did hear on TikTok that this shade range runs darker so you want to make sure that like if you're normally light you might want to go for fair and if you're normally medium you might want to go for light but it's so hard to see online not bad it's just a little pinkier than I normally go for I think the coverage is pretty good it's like a natural finish has a nice coverage maybe like medium coverage I would say a good everyday type of coverage for me you guys know I'm like all about the whole sheer coverage sheer delight on most days I think it definitely made my skin look better I think you can see that everything's even out it minimized some of the redness it took away some of the discoloration on the side and my pores do look pretty smooth and this side has nothing and no primer so I'm gonna go in with this side now I definitely want something a little more neutral if I were to do it over again but we'll see because a lot of times two foundations just like look different over time on your skin they might oxidize I don't I haven't heard anything about this oxidizing but I also feel like sometimes when I put on a foundation I'm like oh that's a little pink over a couple of hours it doesn't look the same it's not that it oxidizes it just like looks better over time I also don't wear a lot of foundation day to day so it's like strange to see my face <laughs> with medium coverage I usually only do medium coverage right now if I'm testing a product out otherwise I'm us usually wearing my Saint 3d foundation or demi color and demi color literally looks like nothing on my face but just looks flawless so that's what the CC the camo CC looks like on my skin it did I feel like minimize my pores evened out everything it feels really nice on the skin it's very lightweight like what I see in terms of coverage and how I feel is totally different like it definitely feels super lightweight and it absorbed nicely it set nicely it doesn't feel super tacky but it's definitely like a lot more coverage than I was expecting but maybe not because everyone was comparing this to the it cosmetics and I feel like the it cosmetics gives you quite a bit of coverage moving on to the NYX the brow glue non sticky hate when my brows feel sticky or crispy I filled my brows in with my hourglass arch um, the small one it's like a tube of super glue which scares me a bit and then this is what the spoolie looks like I like the size of the spoolie okay. hmm. 
so far so good we'll see how it wears and dries and while we wait for that dry to dry let's go in with the elf hydrating camo concealer i'm really excited about this one i got light sand really hope it uh, matches me or looks okay look how cool this looks the doe foot definitely gives me heart shaped tape vibes I think the shade is okay. I probably should have just done one eye first so we could see the difference. I don't feel like it's covering much. Like it's not super, like I still see a lot of darkness right here. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more right there. I like how lightweight it is and it's blending out nicely. Hmm. I honestly haven't used much concealer since the Kosas Revealer Concealer, and then I also just used my Saint 3D or the Demi Color, which like filters out everything without looking like I'm wearing concealer. I like it. I think in the camera, it definitely looks more lifted and brighter, but I'm so used to my Demi color, like completely making this go away. So it's just a different look and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna set it though immediately because I definitely have fine lines under there and I don't want anything to crease. I'm going to use a eco brush tool and then my translucent powder from Jouer because I know that it works. So I'm just going to set right there. Brows are not crispy and they're not sticky. I am going to powder my nose and my T-zone. I don't have a bronzer from TikTok or from my haul so I'm going to use what I've been using which is the Danessa Myricks Beauty bronzer in light. It's the power bronzer and I think it's a really beautiful cream bronzer. So I'm using my Saint blush and bronzer brush. Definitely feel like this side that I put primer on, I'm able to layer products more flawlessly whereas this side isn't as even when I layer the bronzer on top of the CC cream. So I like this side more with the primer so far, if you guys can see the difference. I do have a blush and I really wanted to try the e.l.f. putty blush. I got the shade Bali. I've been seeing these and they're sold out. This was one of the shades that was still available. It did not look this drastic or scary online, but I'm a little scared. Someone did DM me and tell me that it was buildable. Oh, okay, yeah, it is buildable. So I like that a lot. And now I'm gonna want all of them. That's the hoarder in me and the makeup junkie in me is that like if I like something, I then want to collect all of them and that's just such a bad mindset because I don't need that much makeup. No one does. And I do this for a living, test products and play with beauty products. But I used to be like, I need to get every shade even if the shade doesn't look good on me so that I can do a swatch video or a swatch blog post. And then I'd be like, now what do I do with all of this product? Old me versus new me. <laughs> this is just so cute and it's so affordable. I think it was $6. I keep seeing these at Target, but I, I try not to like buy things spur of the moment. Like I try to think about things. So I thought about it enough and I decided to get it even though I do not need eyeshadows. I'm going to use the first shade all over as a base. Um, they're both very shimmery, so now I'm a little worried that I don't have something for a crease. So I'm going to try and just use this buttery, shimmery, bronzy shade all over the lid. And then I will go in with a crease shade. I'm going to focus the bronzy shimmer on the outer corner. I think I'm just going to lightly see if I can use this really dark brown in my crease. Back in with my first brush and just kind of blend that in. 
doing the brow bone. Using the champagne shimmer in her corner. Going back in with that bronzy with my finger just to clean that up and intensify it. I love these eyeshadows. I think the eyeshadow pigmentation is really, really good. And even the shimmers using a flat brush, you're still getting a lot of payoff. Now, if you want more intensity, definitely use your fingers and pack on the shimmer for more of that brightness and intensity of the sh pigment. But the mattes are really good. I'm really surprised because this is only $6 and this is adorable, really good product. I'm going to do my eyeliner and then I'll come back with the mascara and my lip. Mas Gara time. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Ooh, I like this brush. It's like a traditional spoolie versus the plastic ones. I mean, they're all plastic. I mean, like the spiky ones. I don't know if I'm making any sense in this video. Mm. It doesn't hold my curl too much, but I don't hate it. I honestly just miss my lash extensions or falsies. Yeah, I'm not like super impressed with this mascara it's it's volumizing without being clumpy but it's not doing much for my very stubborn lashes so this one's kind of a fail yeah not crazy about this mascara nothing special about it final product i'm going to be testing is the nyx shine liquid ambitious statement so i believe i put on the color side first let it sit and then put on the coat that kind of that basically makes it not sticky Okay, now I'm going in with the clear. Oh, it's like a nail polish. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. I was expecting to feel like shellac, but it's actually really comfortable. Test. That's so crazy. Ooh. This is what everything looks like on my face. Natural late morning light. And I will do a check-in before the sun sets. And then I'll do my final end of the night check-in. Immediately, if you like the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, I have to tell you, this is very, very close to it. The Camo Concealer Hydrating looks really nice. And I feel like I could build it up it looks good on camera we'll see if it creases or wears off really like this putty blush i'm now gonna want every single shade but i won't i will refrain myself i'm really impressed with this primer too i like the way that everything layers on the side with the primer versus the side without so i think that's what this primer would be good for and why i'd continue to use a primer because other than that i just never bother with a primer Really impressed with the quality of these shadows. $6, beautiful shades, really fun to work with. The brow glue is good. It's like a clear brow gel, essentially. Um, it's not sticky, it's not crispy. I would say it's not like shellac either, but I don't want shellac. I know a lot of people are really into that Anastasia brow freeze. And even though I was gonna test it out I just know I'm not really gonna love it because I don't like my brows to feel crispy maybe I would love the way it made my brows look enough to not mind the crisp this lip product is pretty impressive right now because it feels really comfortable for a long wear lip product and not mattifying or overly drying or anything like that um, I wish there were more shades in stock I don't know what shade I got because it doesn't say 
I will find my receipt and I'll have the shade in the description box. I have to say, TikTok's killing it. I will be back in a few hours zero seconds for you it is 2 38 i thought i'd do a check-in to show you guys how everything looks so definitely think the primer made my skin smoother and all the products layer better on this side versus the no primer side however in real life you can't see a huge difference you definitely notice it on camera i cannot believe this lipstick because i ate a lot i had like a greasy toast ahi tuna and I've just been snacking because we're making dumplings right now. I drank a coffee. Like, this is insane. And it's so comfortable. It's not drying or anything like that. I'm so shocked. The gloss has definitely worn off. But you can just, like, reapply the gloss part. Not crazy about the mascara. Every time I look in the mirror, I kind of feel like my eyes are naked still. <laughs> and then the brow glue. I like it, but I don't think it's something that I'm like, oh my gosh, you have to go repurchase it. I still like my Glossier Boy Brow. I think the brow glue is cheaper than the Glossier Boy Brow. I have to double check. Concealer, I feel like, you know, I don't know if it's the powder that's making it look a little drier. Or maybe the weather, it's just been really dry out here. That's the thing. My skin's not super dry, but it's been so dry that I think the concealer's looking drier than it normally would. And I'm also really tired, so I have puffiness more than I normally would. I'm definitely going to try the concealer some more to see. And then the CC cream is pretty impressive. The coverage is really a lot, a lot more than I'm used to. Because I keep looking in the mirror being like, whoa, I'm wearing like a full face of makeup. However, it's lightweight enough where I don't notice. Like all of this is very comfortable to wear where I forget I'm wearing it until I see myself in the mirror. The eyeshadow is holding up really nice. I like it. I'm just not really happy with my lashes and I would have worn more eyeliner if I knew my lashes were not going to look that good. So mascara is definitely, I do not recommend that mascara right now. Everything else I really like so far. End of my night. I'm about to hop in the shower. So I actually did a workout and uh, bath time with my daughter so I feel like this is a really good testament to how everything's going to look at the end of a long day the lips I'm really shocked I didn't touch up or reapply the color whatsoever I had a very greasy dinner and I ate a lot today and it, it's definitely worn off here but it's not bad I mean there's still color and it doesn't feel like it's crusty or drying I would just have to reapply there. In terms of the concealer, it totally did not work well with my powder today. So I don't know if I shouldn't have powdered or what, but it definitely is like creasing right there. So I have to play with it a little bit more because everyone loves this concealer. The blush is still there and the CC cream is wearing really nicely on this side. It's wearing nicely on this side as well, but around my mouth, it's starting to get a little patchy and cakey. And, I, and around my nose, it's definitely breaking up. Now, this is all stuff that you can easily go in with a damp sponge or a brush and buff out and just kind of touch up if you needed to. But, I mean, for how much makeup I'm wearing at the end of the day with a newborn and cooking, cleaning, and just kind of like living my life. I'm pretty impressed with how everything is. I definitely still think the side with the primer looks better than the side without primer. I like my brows. I, like I said, like I like it. I don't know it's like anything that you have to rush out and get. I like the eyeshadows that wore really nicely. I feel like it hasn't like worn off or anything was not a fan of the mascara. It didn't run too badly or do anything weird, but just not a fan of the result of the mascara. Really love the lip product. I could see myself picking up other shades when they become available. Really love the blushes. Could see myself picking up other shades. Don't hate the concealer, but do need to like see if it if it could wear better cuz it definitely is like doing something weird and like creasing here. And really like the primer which I never thought I'd say. I'm so particular with face primers. And I will definitely give the CC cream a bit more of a try. Wearing off around here 
and it's looking a little cakey around my mouth. When you wear medium to full coverage or anything that's like more, the more products you wear, the more I feel like you're gonna have issues with it starting to move around and start to show texture. It's why I like more sheer products, but I'm going to test out some of the other products I showed you in the beginning of this video in another video, because this video is obviously getting a little long. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing me test out some viral TikTok makeup and TikTok made me buy. I am really impressed with a lot of the products. I have to say it's kind of given me this like re-energized, re-energized, it's re-energized me in testing products for you because I think with everybody's situation from the last year, we're all kind of trying to be mindful and figure out where to spend our money. For me, I don't think you have to do drugstore or high-end or, or mid-level. I think it's really about finding the best product for your needs at the best price. It's okay to spend on luxury items if it brings you joy and you're going to use it and you get your money's worth out of it. And it's okay to buy a drugstore, but I don't think you should have to lose the quality and performance of that product. I review everything kind of based on just my preferences and whether or not I think it's of quality, because I always think it's quality over quantity anyways when you're dealing with your products and with your clothes and with anything in life. i rather have one really amazing foundation than 12. You can always hopefully count on my product reviews and help you make Make the best decision for your budget and your lifestyle and your concerns and needs and wants out of your products until next time i hope to see you guys back here i do upload every friday and sundays at 9 a.m pst but i will be doing some bonus uploads because i have just been really excited with testing new products so there'll be bonus product review videos up here i reserve fridays for more professional treatments or asmr type of treatments and those aren't every fridays they're most fridays and then sundays i always promise a beauty video that could be a get ready with me a product review video or something along those lines if you haven't subscribed yet i'd really appreciate it if you would click that subscribe button and turn on post notifications that little bell so that you never miss a new video from me or you can follow me over on instagram i'm on stories almost every day and i always let you guys know when there's a new video so until next time have a wonderful beautiful rest of your night day <laughs> bye